following along with these videos, we've just got done with a lot of really information intensive ones. We've worked through programming the oscillators, programming the filter, programming the envelopes, and that's just a lot of information back to back to back. So we're going to take a step back for a little bit and concentrate on some of the more fun ways to change the sounds of the Korg DW8000. The first way we're going to talk about is down here at the bottom right, the MG. Uh, the Korg DW8000 calls this the modulated modulation generator. Uh, most of us who program synthesizers know this better as the LFO. And we're going to talk about the ways we can use this LFO down here at the bottom right of our controller panel to change our sounds. Now, full disclosure, I haven't noticed a lot of bugs with this synthesizer yet, but to be honest, it is a 30-year-old instrument. I've noticed a few bugs with the LFO. I don't know if it's a bug with the actual unit I have, the bug with the Korg DW8000 on its own, perhaps some sort of miscommunication with controller in my MIDI, inter MIDI interface, but if I run into some problems on this, this is actually like the fifth or sixth time I've tried doing this video. If I've run into some problems on this video, uh, forgive me. It is a instrument that's older than I am, so it's you know only natural it's going to give out on a few things. Anyway, moving on. Basically, this MG, or I'm just going to call it for the rest of the video, the LFO. LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator, and essentially it is a signal source that changes or modulates a certain parameter on a synthesizer. So you have a few controls. You've got waveform, frequency, delay, oscillator, voltage control filter. So we're going to start by just looking at the waveform and VCF. Uh, basically what's going on here is when I turn up the knob for VCF, you'll notice, well first off I'm going to give it to you, uh, regular. This is the regular sound of this particular patch. As I turn up the voltage control filter knob, you can hear the sound change a little bit. What's going on is, with a triangle waveform, the LFO is modulating what the cutoff is doing. So it's almost like you imagine somebody coming in and turning this cutoff knob back and forth on a certain schedule, certain speed. That's what the LFO is doing. You can, of course, control how fast that goes. From very slow to very fast. You can control the waveform. So you had triangle, saw down, saw up, square. And it's affecting the cutoff, so of course anything I do with the filter, we're, filter will sort of change how this LFO sounds. So it's fun to play around with. In addition to uh, VCF, you have a control to affect oscillator. So this affects oscillator pitch. This is what it sounds again regular. This is what it sounds like with oscillator pitch going. Triangle, saw down, saw up, square. So essentially at this point the LFO is changing the pitch of the oscillators uh, an effect that a lot of synthesizers call vibrato. So you can get interesting effects with that. If you recall, um, on the first video of this series, I showed you that joystick on the left-hand side of the keyboard. I want to bring that up now because one thing that's interesting with the frequency knob is that it affects how that joystick controls the sound. So let me take away this setting here. If you remember, when you move the joystick to the left, it bends the note down. When you move the joystick to the right, it bends the uh, pitch of the note up. But if you move the joystick uh, down, it makes the oscillator, or I should say the low frequency oscillator, affect filter cutoff. And this frequency knob controls how fast that is. So I'm going to not mess with these two knobs at all. I'm just going to change the position of the joystick. So here it is, me pushing the joystick down to affect cutoff. <laughs> And of course, 
lower down I push the joystick, the more the sound is affected. But if I change the frequency up, I do the same thing. It's faster. Same way works if I push the joystick up. Now instead of uh, controlling cutoff, it's controlling the pitch of the oscillator. And frequency knob, if I turn it down, it moves it slower. So if you want to control this synthesizer in real time, you have a choice. You can set the knobs a certain way so that they're always changing the sound no matter where the joystick is. Or you can play with the joystick and get that to change your sound. It's up to you. Um, yeah, so a lot of fun that can be had with the modulation generator. One last thing I want to point out. This is the thing that didn't work last time, so let's see how this goes. This delay knob. You might think at first that the delay knob is somehow affecting what's going on with this delay unit down here. That might have been cool, but no, that's not what's going on. We'll get actually get to the delay controls in the next video, but this delay knob, what it does is it affects how long after I hit a key does it take for the LFO to start changing the sound. So I'm going to turn the delay up some. I'm going to turn the filter modulation up. Let's see what this sounds like. So all I did was hold a key down for that long, and you can see it took a, a minute for it to actually start modulating it. If I turn the delay down uh, to 9, let's say. You can see it only takes a second to start modulating. If I turn it up, it takes longer. This is the bass patch, so maybe it doesn't sound the best on this. So let's pull up a string patch, and I can show you how you can make some more long, evolving sounds with this. So here is a kind of more string patch. I'm going to make it so it affects the filter and the oscillator, because you can do both. You can mix and match them. And let's make him have delay a little bit. So you can see that messing around with this MG or this LFO control here allows you to make, uh, I don't know if you're going to make Skrillex style bass wobbles with it, but it definitely allows you to control uh, the sound in an interesting way and it's fun to mess around with. In the next video we'll talk, as I mentioned, more about the delay unit here at the bottom left hand uh, corner of the panel and we'll move on from there. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for the next video.